madam, 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 it's okay. Off your mic, madam. It's okay. It's okay. Honorable minister, please, it's okay. <laughs> The Niger Delta Development Commission was established to reduce poverty as well as foster development in the Niger Delta region. However, there is little or nothing to show on ground to justify the trillions of Naira that has been injected into this region. What could be the issue? Could it be corruption, bad leadership or lack of accountability? Today on the streets of Abuja, we'll be asking Nigerians their opinion on this current NDDC saga. You can call me off of no Akban or the Quiet Streets Parrot. You're watching off and on TV. So a very quick one. I believe you follow the NDDC saga. What is your opinion on this? And I believe if you have an opinion, what do you feel is the way forward? Well, um, it is not a new thing. Everybody in this country, I'm sure, is aware of what's going on in the NDDC. I think. It's a, it's a shame actually, it's a very big shame that the people we entrust with the commonwealth decide to share it among themselves, forgetting the people for whom the wealth is meant. The only forward way forward is to do the right thing. Yes. And the right thing is to take care of the common people, take care of communal well-being, to make sure the wealth is used appropriately. If you have love in your heart, you won't misappropriate funds meant for the good of the populace. So I think the way forward is to always spend the money the right way. And I think the people involved in this saga, they should not be spared. They should be meant, they should be made rather, to vomit the funds they have swallowed. Yes. They should be made to vomit the funds they have swallowed because that fund is made and is meant for the people. Yes. So the people demand justice. And justice means to confiscate every properties, every funds of the people involved in this saga. But what is ended this uh, saga? If palliative are being given to the individuals that needed this, at least the issue of militancy, armed robbery, corruption, um, crime, youth engaging in violence, it will be reduced. Even if they said they want to use the money, channel the money into advocacy, rape, rape cases will be on the reduce, drug abuse will be on the reduce, even theft. But no, what, what I would just advise is, if the government can put a law that any individual caught, either you stole one error, because people that stole one error or stole onions in the market suffer more. But people that stole still with billions. still billions with biro. When you just when you go to the courts, to our uh, institution that are supposed to pass judgment to them, when they can pay off their way, they will be left left alone. What I want to advise is. Any individual caught, irrespective of the position, your cadre, your uh, status in the society, the rot of the law to catch up with the person. That individual, it's not for them to just say, um, you bring a uh, part of the loot and they let you go. Let the person rot in jail. At least, or they, they put a, de a, 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 sen a, a death sentence that anybody caught stealing, the person should face the face death sentence. Your death sentence is not too so extreme? One thing is, if you said that sentence is extreme, looting to the tune of billion is not extreme. Many individuals, many families, even during the lockdown, many families were not even able to account for 5,000 naira, even 1,000 naira. Some people died. If you look, if you look at the, the level of individual, people that died during the, in Nigeria during the um, COVID-19, the younger virus was more that killed people compared to the coronavirus. And you are still looking at it, the level of hungry in this country is what is killing us. My if candid opinion is that we are not ready for uh, what's it called? Development. Okay. Because from the look of things, the issue of fighting corruption is, is, is what's it called? They are fighting, corruption is fighting back. You see someone, you see a Pabio in the, in, the, in the house claiming that the most of the contract were given to the National Assembly just for us to know he has written a letter again debunking there was a call or uh, if we foot his statement where are we going 
then that is what I'm simply saying is that we don't really know where we are going because okay. we are not really safe. If because there are certain things that we're supposed to protest for, we don't protest for it. We just take it and take it with levity hand and food and hands, see if nothing is happening. But in developed crime, in other crimes, little things, they protest and government have a change of heart. But here if you protest, another party was the call. They will go and organize another, another set of people to counter your protest. So okay. where are we going? So have you ever gone out for a protest before? Because most of just are scared of you yourself. Yeah. Have you ever gone out for a protest before? In my days in school, I'm a student representative. I'm okay. a speaker. Wow. Nuasa, Canton Student Union Association. I'm a speaker. So I know what it is. When you have certain things, when you feel that your right has been violated, you protest. Okay, but what we are lacking is monitoring. You cannot give somebody a job and you are not monitoring the person. Yeah. At the end of everything, you blame the person. You shouldn't. Give out the contract, monitor the person. It should give you the, the, the modality of his oppression to enable you to at least get the, the evidence of the contract, the outcome of it, you know? But when you give a contract, no, no, you just like relax. At the end of everything, when the person misuse the, the, the opportunity or whatever, you come and summon the person. But with this direction, I think there is a positive, uh, a positive result will come out of it. If Senate will stick to their decision. Okay. Because many things are happening. It's not just, it's not just the uh, Ministry of uh, Niger Delta Commission or whatever. There are many that they still have to look into them okay. and find out what is going on. So I think uh, the way forward is um, let that let be the proper proof for this. And anybody that is found culpable should be dealt with according to the law. The issue of uh, NDDC is, 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 is a challenge. It's what I tag as totally unacceptable. When our leaders are, are, are vested with, with, with powers to serve the people and then they will deviate from that, uh, the cardinal objectives of that organization that, uh, of which that organization was established to serve. I think uh, implementation and ev evaluation should be very sacrosanct. So by, with the clear policy document, you see our leaders will come out, we are, go, uh, we are going to do this. It shouldn't be, it should be far beyond we are going to do this. We have done this. The issue of uh, the, the, the NDDC, the, the people within that axis, they have suffered for over time. Yes. And then they, they have suffered and uh, they have been, been molested. And then huge amount of money have been invested. You, all of us can see what happened at the National, I mean, National Assembly. When they called the MD, to come and testify how the, I mean, the, the usage of the money, yeah. uh, the, what they planned for the money was not done. They called him and he pretended because that was the gimmick all the senators and those of them that had the money with him told him to do. Please, Nigeria should wake up. The youth of this country should wake up. Look at a quick one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to off the mic, but it's okay. So now, what do you feel the youth should do? Because I, are the youth even ready? A quick one. Are the youth ready for this? Unfortunately, the youth are not ready. The way I saw it, they are not ready. See what happened in America when they killed them. Something fly what? Yeah, flood. Yeah, flood. Can't you see all everywhere? But here, if you do in Nigeria, guns will be everywhere. So many deaths because of that. Some everybody's afraid. People were afraid to come and say the right thing. I don't want me to be killed. My family will suffer. Yeah. Forgotten that it is one man will pay the price for others to enjoy. I pray that God will send an angel to take care of this country. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our little street opinion. I believe you've enjoyed all of our sessions. We'd love to know your opinions in the comment section below. Kindly you drop your opinions on the way forward to the solution of corruption in Nigeria. I remain your quiet street parrot. And of course, you can always call me off and on. Thank you.